Hello my gardening family. Welcome and welcome back to another gardening with Stacy. Happy Sunday to you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to all my new gardening family and big ups to you my faithful gardening family. I appreciate you all. All right, so today is another throwback video, mulching. In this video, you will learn the benefits of mulching your garden. My Jamaican Backyard Garden, Portmore Edition. This is Gardening with Stacy. Come garden with me now, man. What a nice place to live. Sweet so, let's go to that video. Welcome to my backyard. This is Gardening with Stacy. Today, we will be talking about mulching your garden. <music> First of all, what is mulch? Now, mulch is anything you put on top of your soil surface to cover it. Mulch can be either organic or inorganic. Organic mulches comes from living materials. Examples of organic mulches are compost, wood chips, grass clippings, leaves, pine needles, rotted manure, and tree bark. Inorganic mulches can be artificial or natural materials. Examples of inorganic mulches are plastic, gravel, marble, rubber, or landscape fabrics. Now the purpose of mulch is to save water because it helps the soil to retain moisture. It suppresses weeds, it improves the soil around your plants, and it also gives your garden a nice, clean, and neat look. In winter, mulch protects the soil and your plants. It protects the soil by keeping it warm and it protects your plants from the freezing and thawing cycle. Now what I'm using to mulch my garden today is compost. And the reason for that is because it will do everything that I just mentioned. It also provides nutrients to my soil as it breaks down. So I have this bucket right here to start with. Do you mulch your garden? What type of mulch do you use and why? Comment below and tell me. What is the difference between organic and inorganic mulch, you might ask. Organic mulches break down over time and add nutrients to your soil. So with that, you know your soil quality will improve. Inorganic mulches either does not decompose or if it is one that breaks down, it's over a long extended period of time and it doesn't add nutrients to your soil. Both organic and inorganic mulch has their place. Guys, please do not over mulch your garden. You don't want to block oxygen and water from your plant roots. So try not to go over three inches of mulch.
right so there we go currently I only have a few containers that are mulched and the reason for that is because after hurricane burial everything was splashed kind of splashed all over the place and so I just took everything from all the containers well most of them so the reason I took them out was because I was doing some direct sewing in some of the containers but of course I will be mulching very soon if you have any questions comments recommendations drop it in the comment thank you so much again for watching and until tomorrow walk good my jamaican backyard garden portmore edition this is gardening with stacy come garden with me now man that's what a nice place to live